Welcome back to the Urban Culture Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing lobster tails, stuffed lobster tails. Now if you like lobster like I do, you're going to definitely love this recipe. We're going to be making a Cajun sauce that we're going to be uh, seasoning our lobster with. Alright, so to get ready for our lobster tails, stuffed lobster tails, we're going to make actually uh, herb butter. You know what I'm saying? Melted butter, then we're gonna mop on top of it to season it. So, cause we don't wanna have you no know, unseasoned, you know what I'm saying, lobster tails. So, these are all the ingredients. You know, uh, we, we've got a half a stick of butter, then we're gonna melt, and then we're gonna have uh, minced garlic, about two tablespoons, parsley, and Uncle Steve's alligator seasoning. It's a really good one, you know, for seafood and stuff like that. So, we're gonna try this alligator shake out. You know, uh, we're gonna put it all together, combine it, you know, and um, get you some good shears. There's one way to do it, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have some good shears. So what we're gonna do is cut it open, real simple and easy. Find the top part right here. Go all the way in. I see a lot of people cutting it from the tip, but you must go all the way in. Be careful because the shell is sharp. So we're not calling cutting them all the way down. We just cut them about that far in. That, that far in. All right. What we're gonna do is open them up. You know, good method is to use a back of a spoon, slide it through, slide it down. Because you don't want to cut yourself. These, like I said, these things are very sharp. So, gonna do it on the other side. Like I said, go all the way down. <laughs> this was done fighting. You don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to go. Anyway, so what you want to do is split it up and so there you go. If you do it right, it comes right out. Open it right up. See there you go. So open it up. What you wanna do is clip that so and Flip it over at the bottom. Tuck your finger under the shell. Pull out. Like that. Don't pull out too much. And butterfly it. All right, you guys. So that's how you open it up. You know, you wanna see? And we're gonna get ready to, uh, I'm gonna open up the other one and we're gonna get ready to season it next. Now that we took both of the lobsters out, it's time to season right, it. So let's get into mixing up this butter, you know, all the seasoning and everything like that. So let's put the alligator shake in there, parsley, garlic, and obey. So that was one thing I didn't mention was add a little obe in there. And that's it. All right, you guys, so just, you know, mix it around, you know, and pretty much it's ready. It smells good, you know, look good too. And that's all to it. You know, I'm getting ready to top this, you know, uh, mop this on top of the uh, lobster tails. And uh, so I'm about to get ready to do that now. So. Let's stay tuned. All right, so let's get the mopping, the seasoning on. And be generous about it. Yeah. Cause we, you know, we don't want no flavorless uh, lobster tails. Come on. So get that butter on there. Get that little Cajun seasoning and everything on there. And, and, two more, and you're probably wondering, why am I seasoning this, seasoning it, you know, if I'm gonna be stuffing it, because we don't want a lobster that don't have no flavor. So, 
season it well. Make sure you get the seasons all over the pot, over the over the place. Now, <clears throat> you don't have to take your lobster, just you know, do it like this. You can leave it in the shell, but you know, it's all about presentation. And this is a great presentation, especially you know, if you cooking for somebody, cooking for guests, or just cooking for your spouse. So it's ready, and um, what we're gonna do is put it in the oven. Uh, we're gonna pre-cook it, so we're gonna go cook it all the way through. Because this is a thick piece of meat, you know what I'm saying, you wanna cook it, you know what I'm saying, halfway, then when we put the crab meat on top, we're gonna finish it off. So let's get into putting this in the oven on 350 degrees for a few minutes, you know, and then we're, and we're gonna get ready to put together the crab, uh, uh, the, the crab that we're gonna be stuffing it with. All right, so this part is gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna use the leftover of uh, the little Cajun butter sauce, garlic sauce, no, crab meat. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna, you know what I'm saying, have lobster, especially uh, rainbow lobster, you gotta go all out. So use lump, but you use cloth, but you have to pick out a lot of shells and stuff like that. So um, these are all the ingredients, I'm gonna put it together right now. Um, so add you some mayo in there. Like I said, this is real simple. Mayo, a little lime juice, just a little bit, only a lot because it's overpowered. And let's mix these ingredients, you know. That's all these ingredients in. Make sure you get all the ingredients in mixed. You know, a little mayo left. All right, and then add your meat. So, and you can find this at your local store. You know, um, you can go or you can find it at a, um, this one I found at Restaurant Depot. This a little insider. You know. Your caterer, they have it. These are fresh, you know. Uh, so, yeah. So, pretty much half of half of this. Uh, in this in, in this recipe, we're not going to be using breadcrumbs. So, for those that you know on uh, Atkins keto diet, great. This is great uh, lobster for them to make. So, this is stuffed lobster. And, you know, and we're just going to mix in all the ingredients. You know, all together. And once the, the lobsters are halfway done, we're gonna stuff them with um, the crab. All right, so yeah, guys, this is all to it. Not hard, not complicated, you know, and it's a showstopper too at the same time. So let me check on the lobster tails and I will get into the stuffing the lobsters, you know. All right, so we're gonna get ready to stuff it. Scoop the stuffing in somewhat of like kind of like an oval ball or whatever like that and put it on top, you know, um, or you can use a spoon depending on, you know, say if you have gloves or not. Like the, this, to me, it keeps it conform if you do it this way so it can fit just right. So, you know, just press it down on top of the lobsters and stuff like that. And, um, you know, put as much as you like. You can put little, you can put a lot. It's just up to you how much uh, stuffing you want. Um, you know what I'm saying? Make sure it's neat, not falling off, you know, because when it cooks, you want it to bake directly on top of the lobster. So make sure your, your um, you know, stuffing is not real loose, you know. And um, don't forget to put your oven on 450 degrees because uh, right now it's on, I mean, 420. I'm not, uh, you know, four, put it on 420. And um, you're going to be baking it for about uh, say 15 to 20 minutes to finish it off. So you can make sure it uh, the, the rest of the lobster cooks all the way through and uh, we'll be done. So let's see what happens. All right, so now that it's done, you know, it's fully baked and everything like that. This is the results you're going to have. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this uh, recipe. If you made this uh, stuffed lobster, let me know down below. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to, you know saying, jump on, you know, uh, our Facebook group. 
you know, and share your pictures. It's time to serve up, you guys. You know, um, this bad boy was really simple and easy, you know, like that, you know, and this would be great for a couple's dinner. You know, if you want to make more than one for a, a dinner party, you can. But, you know, hey, you know, I hope you guys really enjoy this. Thanks for stopping by the Urban Culture Kitchen. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. But I will see you in the next dish.